can we never have peace? Mm, shouting and cursing all night. Well, he's still breathing. He is lucky to be. That old man there, he claims to be Horadrim, but he drinks like an ox. He came to town days ago, looking for a servant of the demon Lilith. A pale man. It seems he didn't like what he found. I see. I will take it from here. Who are you? He and I met in the Fractured Peaks. I saw his pale man in a vision, if you can believe it. Enough. He's yours. Just keep away from the bottle, both of you. What do you want? You told me to meet you here, Lorath. Remember? Well, of course I remember. I'm just surprised you're not dead. Hand me that bottle. What happened to you? I was attacked, obviously, by vast quantities of alcohol, wielded by my own treacherous hand. <sighs> There may also have been a brawl with the goats over this patch of mud. But I like to think I triumphed. Lorath, who is the Pale Man? <sighs> the Pale Man is... was... Haradrim. Haradrim? Then you must know him. <sighs> I thought I did, once. His name is Elias. He was my apprentice. He was the one who brought Lilith to Sanctuary. It's possible that I did not take the news very well. What must we do then? Find him. Figure out what he's done. And then kill him. Listen. There's a woman here someplace. She has some messages we'll need. And I'm of no use to anyone right now. Could you find her? Enough time has been wasted. Oh, check around the inn. Ask if she's heard from the Orbe Monastery. No, no word from Orbe. Same as yesterday and the day before. But I have something else. Rumor has it a pale man passed through the Abaru Canyon some time ago. Fearsome fellow, dressed in black. After Laura's performance last night, I wager he'll want to know. Strange. I wrote to the Orbe Monastery the day I arrived. The abbot should have replied by now. Tekrin spoke of a rumor. A pale man. Seen near the canyons. The canyons? Why didn't you say so? We go at once. Ugh. But we can't leave Orbe unchecked. Sod it. I'm off to the canyons. You can meet me there or go to the monastery. You seem reliable, thus far. Do not prove me wrong.
My skill is unmatched. You'll see. Win favor, my friend. I'd hoped to find a witness who saw Elias. Instead, I have a camp of dead merchants. They were slaughtered by demons, that much is plain. But none were summoned here. We should search the canyons. Could Elias have summoned these demons? Easily. And assuming he did, he may still be here. Stay close to me. Ugh! <laughs> 
They're coming to a hell of it. I will close it. Put them down. Yeah! Search the house. Still be close. See what you can find. Today. Master Elias called at my door. I had trouble with my words, so I showed him my carvings. He said he could see my pain in them. The pain of a lonely man who had learned to hate the world. And yet, our mother, Lilith, found me Beautiful. He said there are others like me as well. And together, we will build the new world. Elias is long gone. This Genbar is our summoner. How can you be certain? Isn't it obvious? Elias finds Genbar alone, friendless, full of anger. So he plays him like a fiddle, offers him Lilith's love and a part in his grand delusion. Then he gives him tools to express his anger. Summoning scrolls. Very perceptive. Who knows how long Genbar has stewed in this madness. Let's hope he can still be quiet. Elias, to show me the way. I long for the day when we stand by your side and set the cleansing fire. Visitors, D did Master Elias send you? Master Elias? Well, yes, in fact, he did. Ours is a very important mission. We have something for the Master, but we had heard he was with you. Do you know where he is? Liar! 
dirty pig's born liar. The master has all he needs. Rise now, my wretches. To me! I'm out of essence. Bad news first. Gemba was expecting someone. It seems Elias has turned others to his madness. Taught them to summon too, I'd wager. You heard Gemba. The master has all he needs. They're about to do something drastic. And the good news? <laughs> Elias gave us a gift, remember? This demon he sent to kill us, it is unique. It requires constant feeding. Human sacrifices, in fact. If I cut open its belly, someone inside might hold a clue. Tell us where it came from. I must have it brought to Kadbadu for examination. Make yourself useful and head for the Orbe Monastery. See what's keeping that bloody abbot.
house of the Zakaroon. Left alone to rot. Is anyone here? Murder! Murder in the sacristy! Lock the doors! What about the others? The elbow? Do as I say! Excited when I walked into the sacristy that day. Finally, my turn to enter the archive and explore the knowledge of mine. Now, I give anything to forget what I think. I've cleared the way out. Can you walk? There is no way out. What knowledge remains must never leave. And to evening I shall keep it safe, and into the night hereafter. We must protect the Archive.
more time. From morning, my eyes were opened, and I saw the coming darkness. Through the day, I have prepared to accept the burden of knowledge. Unto evening, I shall keep it safe, and into the night hereafter. Deserve to burn with the rest of it. Where is Elias? Gone. He said the ruin of sanctuary was imminent and only I could help. He is going to summon a lesser evil. He took all he needed and then <laughs> my scholars. He murdered them. He... Oh, Forgive me. of the world shall perish in their regret. What did he take? Scrolls from the Forbidden Archive. He has the means to summon a lesser evil. Him what? Which bloody one? Where? Oh, we don't know, of course. Elias could cover the steps in blood, but a lesser could wipe out the continent, or worse. Come, Elias' pet demon is inside. Pray it leads us to him. It was protecting that fool, Genma. 
This is Elias's work. But where is he? The answer lies in the stomach. <clears throat> this is delicate. A soft noble's hand. Elias would have to feed this thing with more than fancy boots. That's someone's son. Or daughter. We should burn demons. This is wrong. Ah. This medallion bears the crest of the ruler of the royal house of Gulran. Former ruler. Obviously. That's enough, old man. The dead deserve respect. The dead deserve nothing when the living are in danger. Now Gulran has a new ruler, and we have Elias to thank for it. The dead may be worthless to you, but that medallion could bring peace to those two mourning. Fine. If we are to find Elias, then we must also travel to Gulran. Meet me there, and be swift about it. Oh, and avoid the city gates. Too many cannibals. Go to the cliffs. We'll find help there. <laughs> 